recording? Yep. Look like your altos to your soprano. No. Uh, I would actually be the tenors, babe, so. Oh, we were like your tenors no. to No, my I altos. would be the tenors. Everyone's looking at the lens, right? Now we are. Hey guys, welcome to the September 2020 edition of Unlock the Box, the monthly series where myself, my mother, and my husband try everything in this month's keto box. If you want a discount on your very first keto box, you can use the link in the description down below. Enough talking, now it's time to start eating. One thing I can say about this keto box is that there aren't nearly enough sweet items in this thing. Like normally, I go from like savory to sweet, but like, it's just gonna be mostly savory and then like a couple of sweet things at the end, which no, see, which is a thumbs down actually. But I mean, there are some things in here that I'm interested to try, so let's hop into it. One thing I did notice was that this keto box was very similar to the keto crate this month. They each had beverages, they each had that sunflower spread that I was nervous about. They each have a flax cracker of sorts. I mean, they're basically like fraternal twins at this point. Very, very similar, just a little bit different. And trust me, I would know something about some fraternal twins, okay? The first thing we're gonna try, just like we did last time, is just get the beverages out of the way. This is Kaitu Super Coffee. This is sweet and creamy mocha flavored, um, just already pre-made bulletproof coffee, I'm guessing. I don't ever feel the need to purchase uh, pre-made okay, coffee, go. Go uh, but we'll, we'll see. And I see these in Meijer all the time. So like these are just in the store. I know someone commented about that on my video. There are a couple of things in this box that you can just straight pick up at the grocery store. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, do we get the keto box so that it exposes us to like exotic products that we wouldn't find somewhere? Or is it supposed to be like, hey, we pass this up in the store all the time, but we never try it. So it's like, try it now and maybe we'll get them the next time we're there, you know? Mm -hmm. Are you okay. shaking it up? Was it shaking? I shook it. Okay. I shook it. I'm, I'm not putting the top back on. Ugh, gosh, it just looks like coffee, darker coffee at that than I would like. Like, I definitely would want more cream in here to, like, make this lighter. Do you know what this smells like, though? Coffee? No, Honey Smacks. Like, the cereal with the frog on it? Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Yeah. Would we go with that? Yeah. There you go. Sugar Smacks. Sugar Smacks. Okay, it's a smack honey, of sorts. Honey grams. No, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, golden it's Honeycomb grams. and Golden Grams. At yeah. least I knew that. That's no, not bad. Not I mean, bad. I drank it. it. Not good. Watch this. All right, there you go, to the head. I mean... It would be better if it had ice. That is definitely a tier two. Like, if I didn't make my own coffee and just needed a coffee mm -hmm. on the go. Like, I'm also not the sort of person that would buy this beverage. Like, even those Starbucks, you know, pre-made coffees, mm -hmm. I just don't buy those anyway. So I'm definitely not going out of my way to buy one of these. Yes. It doesn't really taste bad. It does taste mocha-y, but apparently there are other flavors as well, such as vanilla, mm -hmm. etc. I mean, tier two, just just super regular. I would say tier three. Yeah. Just because I don't even like coffee. Drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next, something that I just don't care about at all. Fire Creek Snacks Original Beef Stick. Why? Why are they original beef sticks? Why are they a thing? I don't know. But this one, as we can see, is very easy to open, oh, which that. that was a winner for me right there. So, oh, it is wet or oily or whatever. Oh. Use the knife maybe? No, I'm already here. Uh, okay, I just don't, they're all the same. Literally beef sticks are all the same. Okay guys, meat stick. Yep, never have to have one again. I don't like that. It tastes like a cold hot dog. Exactly, I don't like it. No. I enjoy it. No, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, tier just, three, no. I mean, two minus. Tier but... two. Okay, next we are having wonderful pistachios. So this is something else I was talking about. Like, we pass these in Meyer all the time, and I never get them mm -hmm. because the picture has them with shells on. And am I deshelling anything that I eat? Nope, I'm not doing Good it. Lord. But apparently you someone said they notions. come without the shells on them, and that person was a liar. We're going to have to cut this video off and come back in 45 minutes when we're done taking all the shells off of oh these things. Like, 
Communion. Easy as one, two, three. Boom. What do you do? What did you, you just do? split them down the middle? I'm so mad. Oh. oh my lord, jeez. Gosh. How can you do Excel spreadsheets, but you can't hold it up? To it's not that it. I can't. I can do anything I set my mind to. It's oh. I prefer. Are you eating there more you than go. one? Look at look at all this debris that you're left with. Yeah, there's left that is a mess. <laughs> this is a horrible thing. Not some like some parts we can eat the shells too. Oh my god. Okay. Ew, you Wait, eat you know, the, the shells. shells. Like, well, that's not, that's not you a thing. Never, like, you do not oh, eat the shells. Like, no. Showers. So, but oh, then you god. spit it out. You don't eat if you do you swallow and eat the shells of sunflower seeds? Not anymore. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Pistachio. Mm. I'm not just a fan of that nut flavor that mm. she said. That I'm all just right. not a flavor. Um, in the beginning, that. it's it's a weird flavor, and then it kind of fades to a cashew sort of thing. Mm, that's what it is. Yeah, but like. Cashews are delicious and they're buttery and you can eat them as soon as you open them. These, on the other hand, are just wastes of time, if you ask me. Definitely not worth you the work. Less? I mean, you that and less? that's never the point, okay? When I'm eating something, my thought is not, how can I eat less of this? You know, like, plus it's not worth the time. It's not worth the four grams of net carbs that are okay. in this. Yeah, like... I mean, this is a tier three for me. I'm not throwing these away in a moment of desperation where I'm willing to do whatever it takes to eat something. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll keep these around, but like, I'm disappointed. Like, I mean, actually, I'm exactly as disappointed as I expected to be. Like, I saw that picture and I was like, nope, I'm not gonna enjoy that at all. So, <laughs> I was right. These are amazing. Tier one, they're yeah. worth the effort. They taste great. Now Much I like think, sunflower seeds. I think you're you just get being you get into contrarian. You, you can't know. really think those taste that good. These are really good. Ah, you know, and the shell. Actually, when I'm suck on the bullshit, I wouldn't eat it like sunflower seed, but you can leak on a little salty. I like that. I am sad, but we're done. We've no, moved on. Pistachios are amazing. We've moved on from and the pistachio. And they're simple as opening and putting portion. them in. No, ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that's over. Also what she said. Um, okay. moving on next. What's the next? Let's stay in the nut and seed family mm. and have these iota uh, umami sunflower seeds. We just had these in the keto crate. Yeah. These are mm. these are good. Very yeah. Similar. Yeah, no, it's the exact same product. They're not similar. They're identical, okay? Well, it so has been a while. Nope, it's been a few days For since. My honest opinion, please refer to Exactly, exactly. Okay, let's go for it. Here's the, what's like, umami? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Just as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Tier two. two liked them then, well, liked them now. Two. So, Mom, you actually know that 2.6 is like worse than 2.5, right? 2.4. <laughs> oh exactly. I prefer 4. the pistachios, but those are okay. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Who are you? Who did I marry? These, I mean, these are okay. Definitely super regular, mm -hmm. but I mean, not bad at all. I agree. Okay, next we're trying these pork, pork rinds. Um, these are smoky black pepper and sea salt. But whenever you give a, an additional adjective to like salt or pepper, I'm just like, it's just salt and pepper. <laughs> like, stop trying to be extra. Super smoky. Yeah, salt smoky, and uh, extra ground cracks. Fluffy. I know. I appreciate the the consistency of the thickness. Okay, let's go. Wow. That is mm. that is something besides salt and pepper. Yeah. Well, Fried pork skins, smoky. sea Ooh, salt, maltodextrin, yay. Oh, Black yeah. pepper, terula yeast, oh, natural yeah. flavors, safflower and sunflower. Onion powder, natural smoke flavor. Maybe it was the smoke. I was saying, it's definitely smoky. Yeah. I can taste what the smoke. It tastes like uh, maybe a muncho, munch. Mm. 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 This, uh, I don't even know. What is this? this is I whole don't whole like that. Flavor. Whatever flavor like that is, I do not like that at all. I really like it. <laughs> of course, Good of course. That, that's what happened. I like the smoky taste like To be honest, like that's a that's a tier four for me. Like I don't I'm not gonna spit it out, but like if someone was giving these away, I'd be like, Do you have another flavor? Like I'm not I'm not taking these. Like I don't Really? My gosh. Damn. This is amazing. At this point in life when I have so many other pork rind flavors that I like better, 
I would never need those. One thing I don't like about I this, just don't like the one thing flavor. I do like about I this is, is right, that is what I like about it. Mm-hmm. It's very flavorful. Yeah, yeah I mean, flavor. it's not just salt and pepper. Right. It is something it's else. Well, and smoky. I just don't happen to like the whatever that what something is. else is. Yeah. It's the smoke. It's why it says smoky black pepper. It's a no for me, dog. It's a yes for me, dog. It's a yes. You're going to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. No. That is American Idol. <laughs> Something that was also in the keto crate uh, that we already know that we love is this Sun Yum sunflower seed dip. Like, weren't we all nervous? You know, what, was that just me? Well, it was just you. Was it two oh. packs? Well, you no, were. the keto crate only gave us one, but the keto box okay. gave us a twin pack. Well, I think so, these are the way they're supposed to be. Yes, yeah, like they're clearly packaged in a twin pack. Yeah. Well, no, because the other one was individually packaged as well. Like, but wasn't the other one bigger? This is a smaller one. No, this is the same size. Same size? Yeah, this is the same size. So maybe they make them in one and two packs, but the keto box just got more. So these are definitely the resealable types. These are the resealable types. Keto box. That's what it was. Those must have been like samples because it was like a foil peel. But now. Mmm, I remember. Yes. Go ahead, keto box. Go ahead, keto box. Okay. Are we all sticking our finger in it? No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh. Um, we are trying them with these top seeds crackers. These are six seed crackers, sunflower, sesame, flax, pumpkin, chia, and hemp. Ooh, that's a lot of things. Seeds? Yeah, six of them to be exact. Wow. Um, what are the odds? Not sure how I feel about, you know, this packaging or I mean it's not too bad yeah, it's just I like, like is it. this so, just compared like, to the flackers it's artisan. just a lot less uniform more yeah definitely rustic mm-hmm. you know okay I'm so definitely... first we're gonna try one without any dip okay all right I mean you can yeah, this is held together by multi, nothing multi, but the, but like the gelatinous gel that comes off of these seeds mm-hmm. that's weird it's translucent almost yes. okay. mm-hmm. oh Mm, it's like a cracker. Oh yeah, mm. it's actually a cracker. Mm. This is like delicious. what flackers are supposed to be. Whoa! <laughs> mm, okay, top seeds. Mm. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like it. That's Those nice. are good. Mm-hmm. Definitely a tier of, two, kind of tier one, depending yeah. on what mood I'm in. Reminds me a little bit like unflavored, unbuttered popcorn. I was gonna. It tastes like popcorn. Yeah. I was gonna say that. Mm. Look but I know, have. finally, something right, that we agree the, about. Back to the other stuff. We exactly. Agree about those. No, no, right? That does, it tastes like popcorn, but in a yeah. really good way. Yeah, like, like, like unflavored, unbuttered, but just like, like regular, just regular plain, white awesome, popcorn. Yeah, yeah, regular, plain, awesome popcorn. It tastes like popcorn, and that is actually delicious. I agree. And it's crunchy, too. I double agree. Wow, kind of like, kind of like I said, tier two, depending on how much that costs, but like tier one, and... I would say one as well. Yeah, if it came in like a price. larger thing, like I'm just eating all of oh, this, you know? Yeah. Like I want it to come in a larger bag. Well, but... that's true, too, but what if that's like a super reasonable price? Yeah. Yeah, you know, if it's super reasonable, then it makes sense. Mm-hmm. That, okay. All right. Now we're going into the dip. Uh, uh, I think there these two are made for each other. Uh, this is going to be a great combination. Remembering how these were. Dipping it into your favorite cement paste. Yep. Mm. Mm. Another one. That's just so good. I already so knew what I was going to say. I loved it. Tier one, very good. One two punch, good combination. Mm-hmm. I mean, good combination, but great on their own. Like, oh, I honestly yes. no, don't good. know what I was expecting, but These are white popcorn was not it. But this were, is a pleasant were surprise. Going into it yeah. Negatively. Yeah. These <laughs> like, are I was not happy delicious. with the packaging. Mm. I would say, depending on price, Top Seeds is a one for me. Mm-hmm. And you already know, Sun Yum is a one for me. That as stuff well. is delicious. Wonderful. I love being proven wrong. I love being. Taken by surprise and just mm. going into something with a preconceived notion and then being completely wrong. That's how I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> but it's actually kind of accurate. <laughs> okay, next we are trying intact snacks, crunchy cheese. In the keto crate, we got the black pepper kind, and now we are trying the spicy kind. So it's pretty much the same you know, just, it's like a moon cheese-esque, mm, you know, like popped you, cheese situation. You're going to like the spicy. You're right. Okay. I like the crunch, you like the spice. Yes. And I like the cheese. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go. Yep. Yep. You don't get the spice at the very beginning. 
It's a slow hip. Yeah, that's what I'm going to ask you. I'm still waiting. I'm not going to wait. <laughs> Bingo. At the very end, the spice. Yeah, spice is in. At the very end, and the caboose reminding yeah. you that it's still on the train. Mm -hmm. Love that analogy. Mm hmm. Mm. Ooh, I got it. Yeah. I like it. Ooh. This is tier two, but like if they sold it in the store, it would be a tier one. Like I would absolutely oh. purchase these, like if these were sitting right next to the moon cheese. Nice. But the fact that you have to get yeah. these online, that's what makes it a two. I enjoy oh, them. I, would I also love the say two. Something else that I'm very excited about are these high low life piece up pizza Ooh. nut and cheese snack. I am very excited. I've seen High Low Life in previous, I think, keto crates and a keto box I'm before. About this these. is a new flavor because the first one they just had was like nuts and cheese, mm -hmm. and then they had a ranch version. So this piece of pizza is exciting. I'm definitely and a pizza I love fan. me some walnuts. The oh, oh, whoa! Okay, there we go. And you just, I'm, uh, take, okay. I'm taking yeah. some. Well, the walnuts all at I'm the bottom. I'm taking these exactly. The walnuts, the walnuts, the walnuts the bottom, fell to the bottom. Right. Okay, so huge cheese crisp. Yes. And walnut halves, basically. So that's good. All right, let's go. I'm taking. I'm doing it separately. Me too. Cheese crisps first. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if these are stale. If this is how they're supposed to taste, but that is not a pleasant crunch. Oh, that's good. that's okay. crunch tastic. Mm -hmm. I can taste something okay. that's supposed like, to be a pizza. The second one was a little bit what less am I crunchy. It's like pepperoni powder and tomato yeah. powder. That's all. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. It's, I'm to now. yeah. Here's a here's a walnut pieces if anybody wants. No, I'll take one. Two point five three two nine mm, nine nine. No, no. Not as strong of a pizza yeah. flavor as I would like. I mean, Seeing as I would eat plain cheese balls and plain walnuts, mm -hmm. I'm giving this a two because like I like the flavor of those base items, yes. you know. But not a very strong pizza flavor. But like I said, if I receive this, definitely a tier two. I'm not going out of my way to buy this at I all. Would but I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. It's a two for me as well. Okay, guys. So finally, we are moving into sweet items. Notice everything that we had so far has been savory. And to be honest, that's not my preference at all, okay? Like, I would have definitely opted for a swap where it's like seven sweet things and two savory things, you know? But like finally, thank goodness, we are moving into Hecka Good Food, the chocolate sea salt Hecka bars. So, I mean, I honestly have high hopes for this only because it's chocolate. It's the first sweet thing we've yes. had. Like, I just want to enjoy this. The, uh, it looks kind of oily like all Hecka Good Bars Ooh, do. It does have a wonderful sheen. It is, <laughs> it is not pretty by any means. This looks like a duty. Like, ah. it's it's a duty law. No, it's not. Okay, so just pick whatever piece uh, you want. I'll All take right. Take the one that melted in your bank. Exactly. Yay. Okay. Here we go. It's very chocolatey. No, I was just going to say, <laughs> extremely chocolatey. Yeah, I like that. It gives me, like, chocolate brownie vibes, you know? Oh, it's Melty so chocolate brownie. Mm hmm. I'm going to say. That that is my favorite flavor of Hecka Bar that we have tried. Mm. I've tried a lot mm. of Hecka Bar flavors in the past keto crates. Mm -hmm. Those have just been like mildly tolerable, I would say. Like, oh, it's a bar, so I'm going to eat it, mm -hmm. you know. But I actually enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hecka, finally. Mm. Woo. Nice. Did a um, heck of a job. It was nice, really good. Mom. This is a tier two. Like, okay. I mean, it's great. I just, I don't buy bars on the internet. You know, that if if this was in Whole Foods, I'd probably pick one up every once That's in a true. while. That's but true. you know, this is, it's nothing I have to go out of my way super, you know, hard to get. Mm -hmm. But that is my favorite flavor, Hecka bar that that I that I've tried up to All this right. point. So. Perfect. Finally, you guys, we are ending with proudly pure keto cookies. These are chocolate chip cookies mm. where the carbs come from almonds, if you didn't know. Oh, wow. Um, it even has a sticker on it that says that. Exactly. Anytime 
I see this, I'm just gonna think high key. I, I'm gonna think every other company now that sells these, you know? Like the I, little bitty cookie? Yeah, the mini okay. cookie that comes in a pouch, just <laughs> like this, you know? Okay. So what about this is going to be different or special? Well, I don't believe there's yeah. gonna be anything, well, you know? It's all direct as good as high key. Exactly, I was like, but if it tastes the exact same, that's all I'm looking for. Or, exactly. or better. They kind of look the exact same. I just don't same. want you to taste worse. Or, <laughs> they kind of don't, <laughs> they don't look as, Mm. Uniform as yeah, the high more like an actual cookie. like a grandma make. No, this cookie. looks like an oatmeal cookie though. Yeah, like yours is weird. Ours has like bits in it. You got the one that's like a peanut butter. Cookie. I know. I want the one with some chocolate <laughs> bits. It doesn't have too much of a smell. Mm. Fragrance. Okay, okay, I'm going go. for it. Are we smelling for? Oh, okay. Okay. Not as good as hockey. <laughs> but not as bad as low key. No, it's not, not, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. Yeah, this is super regular. Like this is. Regular. So, I mean, <laughs> lesson, all mini cookies are not created equal. Uh, yeah, that's a good guess. That's a mm. good guesstimation right there. No. Mm, that's a tier three. Yeah. Well, the good thing it's is... a three and a magus is a cookie. All of their, all their carbs come from almonds. <laughs> <laughs> and it, tastes, it just tastes like almond flour. I mean... Okay, again, it's not... Nasty. I could have exactly. made sure this myself. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't taste bad, but it does right. not taste as good as other mini mm -hmm. cookies I have tried. Yes. And I personally do not like the flavor, so yep. there's that. Okay, guys, so that is the keto box. Um, I could tell you from a sweet standpoint, sorely disappointed <laughs> because, like, yeah. there were only two to begin with. Oh, so for God. one of them to be a dud like that, like, those proudly pure cookies. Like, if those were a dollar a bag, then sure, I'll buy those. But if they're anywhere comparable to high key's prices, get high key. Like, the, I don't, they need to go back to the drawing board on that. Those were crumbly. They are, they were just like almond flour -y. Yeah, No flavor. It yeah, no, no flavor. Right? I, I mean, it was just, it was just a misfire. Okay, if I'm, if I'm using my Food Network, like, chopped terms, oh. you know, like, no. But I'll tell you what, those... Crackers though. Brilliant. Now the savory oh, items yeah. in this sans uh the pork rinds. <laughs> but the savory <laughs> items sans were actually the pork rinds. that's not how that word works. Um were actually they were very good. Some of them were straight replicas of the keto crate, so we knew we were gonna like them, but there were some pleasant surprises. I mean those crackers were delicious. I always love the spicy cheese. Um you know, even though I wasn't really a fan of this beverage. I really did appreciate getting a beverage in the keto box, so... I did too, that uh, was nice. Yeah, like, so I'm not really, you know, upset about that, but... I mean, overall, it was okay. Like, it, it was all okay. I do appreciate the differences that it did have from the keto crate. Comment down below, did you get this month's keto box? What product did you like the most? And what product did you like the least? Do you know who's gonna be able to tell us what product they like the most and the least out of this month's keto box? The person that won the giveaway, right here. Oh my God! Like, there are some good things in here. You really will like it. I mean, just the the Sun Yum dip alone, just so good. And those crackers were so good. But if you did not win the keto box, don't fret. No, no, no. You can get. A discount on your very first keto box if you use the link in the description box below like but overall look i'll tell you this this being our second unlock the box i love it the more the more the variety boxes yeah the, the better unlock. you know I, like i really enjoy the savory in yeah this box. so i do enjoy you know sometimes i enjoy a repeat because if you like something once you're gonna like it again you know uh, and then secondly though it is just different enough to be like Okay, keto box. I see what you're doing there. So I, agree. I am pleased. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate and box unboxings, the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next month. Bye. 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 Okay, so were we divvying up the no. remnants? No, we ain't divvying up. Yeah, I, I would agree. I'll try one more just for test purposes. Just for test purposes. Test purposes. Really regular. Mm, good test, though. Mm.
I'll take the coffee. Good for you. Yes, you can have and the coffee. Have no Do you have your meat stick? Did you eat it? Come on. It's a cold hot dog. Oh, and who wants it. to eat a cold hot dog? It tastes like wonderful, just room temperature meat. Uh, Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs>